Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Melissa from the Harbor Fields Public Library. And I'm here today to show you how to make the next Take Making Create craft. It's called Watercolor Coffee Filter Flowers. And you can hear right away that it's going to have a coffee filter in it, which is such a cool craft material. So, I'm gonna tell you what materials you'll need to do this craft. You'll get a kit, and in the kit, you'll get instructions to do everything. You'll also get in the kit a list of books um, that you might like if you enjoy doing this craft. Your kit will also include a coffee filter, of course. You'll get a green pipe cleaner and a piece of green ribbon. Things you'll need from home will be a piece of thick paper or a piece of wax paper to use as a mat. You'll also need a spray bottle with water. You might need a pair of scissors. You'll need water-based, which can be washable markers. Try choosing bright colors for this craft. Then you'll also need a paper towel. So, let's get started with doing our craft. We're gonna come around my shoulder so you can see better. The first thing you wanna do is lay down your mat. And this is because your markers might bleed through your coffee filter and ruin your table, so we don't want that. So put down the mat and then flatten out your coffee filter. Do the best you can with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. I like to flatten both sides a little bit. Then take your markers and make a design. I use big areas of color. So you can see, I'm not being exact. I'm just coloring to make a beautiful design. You can start out with something like that, and then it'll end up looking like this. So you can see I used a lot of bright colors. Now, the next step might be the most fun. What you get to do is use your spray bottle with water and wet down your entire coffee filter. Make it nice and wet. And you can see the colors already start to bleed. Now, you might wanna help this process along by using your paper towel to blot and blend. Do this a little bit. You can see I'm getting color on my paper towel. Don't do it too much. You don't want to absorb all the color into your paper towel. You want it to stay on your coffee filter. And then when you're done, set this aside to dry. It only takes about an hour or two to dry. It dries really fast. This is what mine looked like when it dried. You can see it looks like a watercolor paint was used to make the design. Isn't that cool? So the next step is making the flower. What you need to do is gather the coffee filter into the center, just like this. And then twist the point a little bit, just like that. So you have a twisted point. What you'll do next is take your green ribbon. Start out by making a loop. This makes it a little easier to do. So start out with a loop, then put your loop around the twist of your flower and pull it tight. It's a little tricky, but you'll get it. Just like that. You may want to double knot it. 
This will hold your flower secure in the twist. The next thing to do is take your pipe cleaner and go to the end and start wrapping it around this twisted step. You're gonna cover up the ribbon just a little bit and then pull it down to make a long stem. Now you'll have some ribbon hanging down. If you don't like the way that looks, which it wasn't my favorite look, so I snipped those off with my scissors. And then you're done. You have a beautiful coffee filter flower that you made yourself. I hope you enjoy doing this craft. Thank you so much for joining me today, boys and girls, and have a great day. Bye-bye.